New numbers tonight show the shift continues in the way we vote. We are learning two thirds of votes cast last week in Kent County were from absentee ballots. Political reporter Rick Albin has a closer look, all new at seven. An off-year election means generally there are no statewide offices that are on the ballot. On rare occasion, you'll find a legislative race. And in Kent County this year, there was such a special election for the 28th Senate District. And perhaps partially because of that, the county saw a near record voter turnout. The Senate race in the 28th District wasn't the only race in the county, though for some it was the only item on their ballots depending on where they live. No matter, voters were engaged judging from the percentage of people who turned out. We had about a 19.99% voter turnout, just shy of 20% and just shy of that high water mark of 20.65% uh, voter turnout in 2019. According to Kent County Clerk Lisa Posthumous Lyons, the high voter turnout was isn't the only thing somewhat different about this year's general election. The trend of more absentee voters after the no reason absentee was approved in 2018 continued. We had absentee voting, a high number um, that we continue to see at 67% of all votes cast um, in this last election were from absentee voters. We issued more absentee ballots in this election uh, than we have in any election previously in odd years. Just days after the election, the results were certified and the Secretary of the Senate was advised of that vote for the 28th Senate District. That's where Representative Mark Heisinger was elected. That now clears the way for him to be sworn in, perhaps as soon as this week.